Three days on as Nepal struggles to pick up its pieces, the world stands united to have the Himalayan nation limp back to normalcy. But the task at hand, however, is easier said than done. TVTN Managing Editor Rahul Kaval spoke to Nepal's Information and Broadcasting Minister on what Nepal needs the most in this hour of crisis. To give us a sense of how the government in Nepal sees the current rescue and rehabilitation operations, we are joined now by Mahinda Rijal, the Information and Broadcasting Minister in the government of Nepal. He is with us. Sir, our thoughts and prayers with the people of Nepal. Give our viewers a sense of where you believe the relief and rehabilitation operations are. At. We are still at the rescue and uh, relief operation. Uh, rescue operations going on, uh, uh, even within the valley, uh, Collapsed structures are a major uh, challenge still. I mean, there are requests for many places. We've been able to attend to some. We still are trying to put together uh, the group of people. Here, expertise is needed from various areas to so the group of people. And then also people, uh, experts who have come from China and uh, people, experts who have come from India to do the uh, uh, CSSR operation. Uh, but outside Kathmandu Valley, uh, the uh, houses that have collapsed and do, do need a very different type of rescue operation. That we can do, uh, do not need a lot of expertise, but as long as uh, the, we have uh, evacuators and uh, for, uh, cranes uh, to uh, take the debris away. So that's there's a, a lot of help pouring in from all across the world, from France, India, uh, China, the United States. What does the government of Nepal wish to tell the outside world? What is it that you need at this time the most? Some uh, are already providing assistance. Uh, 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 they are out on the field already. But uh, from many others, there has been a commitment. Now we move in from, slowly we move from rescue operation to more of a relief operation. For relief operation, uh, medical supplies are important. Uh, drinking water is important. Uh, people, experts who can come and uh, restore electricity is very important. Without electricity, hospitals cannot function. Uh, more medical supplies, medical doctors who have specialty in uh, handling situation of this sort, orthopedics, uh, surgeons, uh, uh, anesthetists uh, of that sort are, are needed. So at this stage, what we'll say is uh, there are standard operating procedures as far as relief operations are concerned. So we need support for relief operations. Body bags are needed. Uh, more and more medicines are needed because, I mean, once this process is over, there are a number of people who have lost homes, who will be staying in the camps. We do not have tents, enough tent, tents. We are hoping to get more and more tents. We have, not, we have received regular uh, plastic uh, uh, co covers uh, which would cover people from the open sky, but the regular tents have not been done. Tents would be of paramount importance because people who have lost houses will be there uh, in the tent for a long time to come. Uh, and then again, uh, cleaning those places, I mean, uh, sewer is, is solid waste, uh, cleaning those, uh, disposing them properly, that are, those are some of the needs. So that we, we, we certainly would like to be in a situation where we'll be, uh, there will be no outbreak of epidemic. <laughs>